Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese farmland in the past week. There's hardly anything happening. At the very end of November, the former Chinese chairman Jiang Zemin passed away at the age of 96. A lot of ceremonial events and other memorial stuff are going on and China's entertainment basically is on hold for a week. Major websites will grade their first page and new entertainment programs are all holding back so they're not airing. And the stuff that are airing already, they're still being aired, but new things that was supposed to air, that previously have announced were gonna air, have all just stopped. So this is a whole week thing from December the 1st to 7th to show respect and mourning. Because of this, um, I actually collected a couple of dramas news that supposedly should go live this week, but they're not happening. Let's wait till next week, which could also be a problem because December the 13th, since 2014 have been decided as the National Memorial Day because of the 1937 Nanjing Massacre that um, this year got a lot more publicity than usual due to that American porn shop owner's story. If you watch, you know, short video platform stuff, you know what happened. Usually on that day, everything is also grayed out and no entertainment. So we have a whole week and then one week after we have that one day. It's gonna impact a lot of dramas airing schedule. We do have a few other news on dramas that are at different stages of production. Number one is during this week, a drama has just wrapped and it is the Chinese Paladin 6. This game that has been made into dramas and very influential in Chinese popular culture has many, many series. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many. My favorite is four. But the sixth game and the drama that it's based on has just finished shooting. And the casting I think I've mentioned before is Xu Kai as the male lead and then Yu Shuxing and Wen Peng as the two female essential roles. I haven't played the sixth game so I'm not familiar with those roles and what goes on in that game. I do feel the styling for both female roles in this drama look quite suitable for them. Wen Peng is particularly beautiful. I really, really like her. I don't know why. I, I just like the, the feel of this person. And I do think she actually is suited to more neutral gender role. She has that quality of being a really sassy fighter. And in this drama, she has that type of role and that kind of type of styling. So I'm at least looking forward to that. As for the rest, oh, we shall wait and see. You know, this type of fantasy period drama that's based on IP, <laughs> whether it's a web novel or a video game. Let's just say we hardly ever hope for masterpieces coming out of that genre on these days. Then during next week, there's a huge episode of uh, <laughs> drama regarding a drama. Basically, there's a drama that has been in preparation and about to start shooting. And then the female lead actress publicly announced she quits this project. Announcement comes out from her official studio, not her personal account, Li Yitong. She was initially casted to be the female lead role of the drama Wu Gengji. It's an IP novel based fantasy period drama again, and the male lead actor is Ren Jialun. This project has been in the working since summer, and she's been prepping for that. But due to she gets too much hate messages and too much boycotting and a lot of internet trolling from the male lead actor's fandom because in the original IP it was a big male lead role novel. But when they look at the synopsis of the project of the drama that's been made, there's the essential female role, which would be played by Li Yitong, which isn't so important or isn't really that type of a role in the original novel. So the fandom of the male lead's argument is this is a big male lead uh, stuff and you're just adding too much stuff for the female role and we boycott that. To the point that um, Li Yitong and her studio comes out and say, well, we've had enough of this shit. We're quitting. Uh, goodbye. Go and figure out where you're gonna find your female lead. It's very rare to see actually a studio or an actress uh, who would so publicly come out and say, I'm not doing it anymore. Goodbye. Honestly, I have no idea about this whole drama that's been going on for months on internet because I really am not paying attention to any specific actors and actress. It's only until this thing comes out that it kind of blew up on internet, at least with the entertainment industry. And the funny thing with that is because Li Yitong played a guest role, if you remember, in Cang Lan Jue, which is fairy and devil, and she played the shifu, the teacher, the tutor of the female lead, Xiao Lan Hua. Therefore, uh, 
she had a little bit screen time, but she's really, really nice in that bit. And a lot of people really liked her. Immediately after she sent out this uh, official announcement, the producer and the head of the company, Heng Xinyin Li, who produced Tang Lan Juan also uh, will be giving us Fox matchmaker next year. This guy just sends out this thing and to back her up and saying she is a really hard, diligent working, one of the best actresses he's worked with. It's just unthinkable on his level that she would not do her proper job for anything. If she quits, she has good reasons. And he was even literally just extending invitations right on the spot because he said earlier this year, he had a discussion with Li Tong about having her as the female lead of one of his major period fantasy dramas, something like that to come. But she's like, I'm signed up with another drama right now, so I can't do it. Now, because she's not doing it anymore, Wang Yishu immediately is like, do you want to go? A lot of that definitely is uh, entertainment business, right? You grab on any chances to remind people you exist. That's very important. So this is the episode of probably the most dramatic drama that has happened during this week. Personally, I have. No opinion, no judgment on any <laughs> of those people involved in this thing. The thing is with this type of like IP novel, fantasy novel, period setting stuff that gets made into dramas, it's just too normal a thing in Chinese drama land to have those kind of projects going on for the last five years. And honestly, hardly any really good stuff come out of this genre. So this is just one of many projects. It's not like a news on Nirvana in Fire 3 is cancelled or something. That will really make me feel absolutely awful. As for this, I'm just literally eating melons as everyone else. Drinking tea, eating melons and see what goes on. In this glorious and Vanity Fair of things. Talking about Vanity Fair uh, during this week, also the Weibo annual kind of a summit thing. That's how they call it. Weibo TV and Internet Video Summit 2022. Inviting a lot of stars to a red carpet event and just giving people more opportunities to show off their dresses and makeup and hair and then who is the prettiest of them all. <laughs> Obviously, internet is gonna fight and argue who has the best styling, who has the best skin condition, whose body form is perfect. Um, we're just looking for things to do and funds to have because everyone's real life is pretty boring and inflation and no job. Anyway, so that's another uh, entertainment thing that's going on in China uh, in the last week. Why am I laughing? I'm so sarcastic, heavens. Uh, what else? Oh, this week we have World Cup going on. <laughs> Had it not been internet, I wouldn't even realize like World Cup has started. It really feels like we live at a really different time now, even though it's only say 10 or 20 years from a decade or two ago. I remember back then those international huge events, whether it's Olympic Games or World Cup or other huge things, they all just have a much more presence and importance in your mental space. You remember the songs from them, you remember the atmosphere. I still recall like the 90 eight the world cup all those things were so vivid but these days once we get into like 2020s it just feels all these things starts to disappear and losing their importance and presence maybe it's because we're inundated with information with social media with internet we are just bombarded with too much information and nothing sticks with us anymore life has just become so deconstructed. I should stop this. I, I should stop being <laughs> so meta on a drama review channel. Hope everyone watching this video are having a good December wherever you are and hope the end of the year is gonna treat you well and hope you get a um, bigger bonus than you expected, okay? Please take care. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.